guys welcome back so today we have act like you love me by Shawn Mendes and we have the cable on the first fret to make it super easy it's just four chord shapes uh, open chords obviously so let's get started just have a look at the structure before starting up the song uh, we have the intro verse pre-chorus chorus verse pre-chorus chorus bridge and a chorus for the song uh, likely we just have the intro and the verse and the pre-chorus exactly similar and then we have the chorus and the bridge with a now the strumming pattern are different a bit because in the song uh, like uh, this uh, song goes with palm mating and then he also uh, does one loud strumming pattern for the chorus so I'm just gonna break down and show you everything before that let's have a look at the chords now first chord is an E minor so open second second open open now just add these two fingers on the third frets of the E and the B string uh, we actually use a variation of this chord. We have an E minus seven, so it's zero two two zero three three, and the D major, which is mute mute zero two three two, a C at nine, which is mute three two zero three three, and the tab you will actually see is uh, actually muted, but obviously just add the third fret on the E string. But mute three two zero zero three three and the G major three two zero zero three three. Now again the tab it's actually the B string is now open. Uh, now this is both are actually same. But for this song, if you just add the third frets for the E and B, it's actually a lot better. So we are done with the chord shapes. Uh, now just have a look at the intro. So have a look at the tab. We start with this part. So the chord progression goes like E minus 7. So we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. It goes like that. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So we start off playing the second fifth on the B string, uh, sorry, second fret on the A string, and we have the G string open. We plug them together with our thumb and our index finger. Then I put our ring finger on the third fret of the E string, and then with my ring finger, I do every stuff on the high E string. I play the second fret on the high E string together with the D string open again with my thumb. So we got. So we plug this note together. So E, ten, ten, we come to a D, D, and then we do a pull off from 3 to 2 on the high E string again. And then uh, you have your thumb and your index finger, you are playing the A string third fret, but on top of that, you are actually hammering on the second fret of the D string from open like this so you got once more so, oops and then we play the G string open with the middle finger this time or you can actually use the index finger whatever you want and then you play the A string third fair and then you do a pull off from second to open on the D string with your index finger or with your thumb, whichever feels easy to you. So from the beginning, very slowly.
said, it's actually a lot easy. And you can just go with that for the intro, for the verse, and even for the pre chorus as well. But it might be a bit hard if you just play the finger style of finger style and just sing at the same time. So therefore you can actually strum the chords in a way in which you can actually add some of the notes. So you can just play like this. So one uh, key thing which I just want to give you in this song is this note. So you will see actually this uh, two notes are actually a lot highlighted in the song. We have this uh, pull off from third to second. This these two notes are important for the song. And another note is a uh, hammer on from open to second. That actually used in a lot of time. Like even when you play a C R chord, you will see when Son actually plays the acoustic guitar, he always does a hammer on from open to second uh, when he actually plays the E minor or the C R nine chord. So you can just play the verse like this. This try not if it's actually completely easy and completely okay with single answer in each chord. But I just want to make a bit more diff advanced. You can just play. So that's it, uh, that goes for the pre chorus as well. So, with single down stroke or just even two down stroke on each chord, the pre chorus will sound something like this. And then you come on to the chorus, and for this one. Very much important, you just have a look at the string pattern of the chorus. We have a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. I repeat, down, up, up, down, up, up. So just break that string pattern. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So we have actually the accent on the last down, we have the accent. So like it's like down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So I hope you get it. We just focus. On that beat a lot, so down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Up. So break the string pattern as I showed you right now. I'll just put the first part in the E minor seven chord. So we got now the chord progression actually changes a bit. Like we add a G major chord. So the chord progression will be an E minor seven to a D major to a C R nine. All this trying to hammer on on open to second fret when you come to a C R nine chord like this. Then a G. So String pattern or down up up down up up then you come to the D major chord you can do down up up down up or what I like to do like the song obviously I just on, on the beat where the, where I just got the emphasize emphasizing on the beat obviously so I just add my pinky on the third fret of the E string and I do the pull up that's why I told you before uh, this note is a lot important in the song so okay. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So down up will be a bit harder. Down, then up normal. So and then we have this one. Uh, we move on C at C at nine chord. I told you this note is again a lot important. So you start off playing down, up, up, and then you play the G major chord. Down, up, up, down, up. So I told you we have that. Beat a lot in the so therefore we just gonna go a bit hard over there. So just I'm playing slowly, have a look. So let's play the chorus a couple of times. One, two, three, four. Even 
had the slap, hand slapping, I'm just uh, like I'm mainly focusing on hitting the bass strings and then I just do a pick flick, a flick with a pick, and that's how I get the slap sound. I uh, need to practice to just get the slap sound, obviously. So we actually do down, up, slap, down, up, up, slap, down, up, slap, down, up, up, slap. It depends upon you uh, how you just want to put a string pattern. On. You can actually apply that on the second chorus as well, because uh, if you just change the string pattern on the chorus, it sounds a lot better. So now we're just gonna move on to the next verse, and this time our string pattern is a lot bit different. We do palm hitting. Again, our chord progression goes same, which is E minor, D major, then a C at nine, then a C at nine. So we have our <laughs> this portion of our hand on fr in front of the bridge. I uh, get a very soft sound. And that's what palm hitting is. And just trying to follow that string pattern down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So we don't have down, up. That beat we don't have. Down, up. So we have down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Once more, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, follow. First two. And see what I'm doing? Down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So again for the E minus 7 chord I do down, up, up and then for the D major I go down, up, up, down and then for C at 9 same thing so That's a lot easy uh, One more time just want to do that So this part gonna be up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Remember when you're actually palm reading, just trying to focus on strumming the strings like G string, the E string, A string, and D string. Because if you strum the E string and B string, it will actually go out of palm reading and it will sound like this. That's another case, uh, but for this song, just stay in that way. So now we have the next pre chorus again, same. Uh, you can just go with the palm and obviously, you can just sing a long string in each chord. Then you have the chorus, and then you have the bridge. And for the bridge, we have the exact same chord progression as the chorus e minor, D, C at 9, G. And you can just sing a long string on each chord and let it ring. Two, three. And then we have the last chorus. So that's it for the song. It's actually a lot easy. Uh, and a really nice song which has some easy parts to learn with some variation over there. So that's it for this lesson. If this helps you out, make sure to drop me one of these. Uh, feel free to ask me anything down in the comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe because at 1000 subscribers, I'm just gonna do something special. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. And see you guys back in my next video. Bye.